Two at six, several Van Dyke County deputies were involved in a shooting this morning on Interstate 20. KTK's Frank Jefferson is here to tell us how this incident may be part of a bigger concern for law enforcement in our area. Frank. Casey, that's exactly right. Just last week, there was an officer involved shooting in Hawkins, and earlier this month, two more in Deep East Texas. A high speed chase early this morning ended with Van Zandt County Sheriff's deputies shooting the suspect. The pursuit started in Grand Prairie, reaching speeds up to 95 miles an hour. Uh, at times without uh, headlights on. Officers used spikes to stop the suspect. Uh, wrecked out, lost control, went off the roadway into the drainage ditch. The driver refused to leave the vehicle and pointed a firearm at officers who then fired at the suspect. They initiated life-saving efforts. The suspect was then transported to a Tyler hospital. He's facing evading arrest and aggravated assault charges. Law enforcement leaders say their number one priority in situations like this is keeping everyone safe. We're always going to respond and, and respond appropriately and make sure there's no loss of life. This is the fourth East Texas officer involved shooting just this month, and first responders say this is a part of a way bigger issue. A lot of reports uh, from all over the country on the amount of us uh, that are getting uh, either shot at or even uh, wounded or killed in line of duty. East Texas law enforcement are hoping this pattern doesn't continue, but it is a part of a larger gun violence trend nationwide. The Texas Rangers will lead the investigation because this is an officer involved shooting, and we're going to keep you updated as we learn more. In studio, Frank Jefferson, KETK News.